So I went with him. We grabbed the dogs. We get in the car. We're on the way there. We're headed up Sweetser's the street. It's a major street that um, leads up to Johnny's houses. Um, he effectively owns the end of the street. It's like a cul-de-sac. Um, so we're nowhere near his home, but we are driving up this street, and uh, he has the window down. He's smoking. Um, it wasn't all the way down, but you know he's constantly smoking. And at some point, he starts howling out of the window, and then grabs. We had two small dogs. Well, one was Johnny's dog and one was my dog, but he grabs, if I, if I remember correctly, Boo, the, the, his, his dog, um, slightly chunkier, um, teacup Yorkie, and he grabs this teacup Yorkie and holds Boo out of the window of the moving car. And he's howling like, like an animal, while well, holding the dog out of the window. And everyone in the car, I'll never forget it, everyone just froze. No one did anything. And I, I too was like torn as to what I should do because I didn't want to do anything to cause him to react, drop the dog. You know, it was just this eerie moment where he's howling and holding this animal outside of the, the car window. And more than that weird memory is the, that I have, a, more than that weird memory, I have a memory of everyone just kind of not really reacting to him. Like no one really kind of did anything. They, I eventually kind of pulled his arms gently back into the, to the vehicle and kind of got the, dog back on the seat and we continued driving but no one reacted